From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. JC listed chemicals company Omnia has unveiled its new solar power plant and its Sasselberg operations in the Free States. Darren Parker tells us more. Phase 1 of Omnia's new 5 megawatt solar power plant was officially activated on January 27, followed immediately by a sod turning ceremony to mark the start of construction of Phase 2, which will add an additional 5 megawatts of generating capacity. So I think at Omnia we always knew that we want alternative energy sources. What that results in is lower carbon emissions, it uh, reduces our dependency on uh, the electricity utility provider, and, um, and also what it does is it makes our overall business more sustainable. So now that our first phase of the solar farm is, uh, has been launched, it uh, reduces our dependency on, uh, on the grid uh, between, uh, from bet around about between 25 and 35 percent. And uh, in, on good sunny days like we've got in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in today and in Africa, it, it actually from an instantaneous perspective can produce as much as 50 percent of the energy we need. That includes the energy we co-generate uh, from our nitric acid plants um, and that uh, uh, produces steam and that steam we also reuse uh, in our manufacturing processes. The second phase of the solar power plant, which will be built on about 6.5 hectares of Omnia-owned land adjacent to the first phase plant, will be completed by September, with each phase saving the company about 12 million rand a year in energy costs. So today we launch a 5 megawatt uh, farm. We We've turned the soil on, uh, on, the, on the second farm, which is exactly the same size. Uh, in total, we'll get about 10,500 uh, megawatt hours uh, from, from, from the facility. Um, we expect the second phase to be done uh, in the latter part of this year. Uh, in total, we we'll probably would have invested uh, close to 150 million in, 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 in both, in both uh, phases and uh, we believe that this will provide us sustainability of, uh, of, uh, of alternative energy generation for the next 20 to 30 years, uh, which is a great position uh, to be in. Omnia hopes that the solar power project will play a part in helping provide some relief to communities and small businesses facing extended electricity disruptions. There are roughly 10,500 solar panels that are put up. Um, you know, these panels are, um, produce uh, uh, energy not only from the front but also from the back of them. Uh, in the process of uh, building the, the solar farm, uh, we had over uh, 100 people working on that. You know, we used our own project managers and engineers, but we also used a number of contractors. We also returned um, uh, a benefit to the community, so, you know, to keep the, 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 the area clean to keep the grass cut, uh, we've planted trees um, and we've used local uh, community folk to help us with that. Um, so that's the, 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 the nature of an installation like this. We now start the second one which then um, you know, will create um, uh, work for similar numbers of people. Um, in terms of timeline it probably takes uh, between 7 and 12 months to build uh, a farm of this nature. Uh, we've been very dependent on uh, supply chains, on procure procuring the panels, procuring the, the inverters and others, uh, but our team are well underway to do that uh, for the second phase. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.